What's up guys, in this video I want to show you the new features of the music app on the iPad um, and specifically what is actually new inside of that app. First off, as you can see, on the iPhone and the iPad they have actually split up videos and music instead of having an iPod, iPod app, excuse me, um, which is pretty cool. I mean, I like it better. It's easier to access your music and your videos. Um, but besides the look, let's get to the new app on the iPhone and the iPad. This is specifically for the iPad, but a lot of these features are on the iPhone too. So I'll go ahead and open up the app here. And the first thing you will notice right off the bat is the new interface. As you can see, it does have an album art interface, um, which I don't really like that much, um, but I guess I can deal with it. You can scroll down here, look at all your artists um, in the playlists. Um, you can click a playlist to open up. Uh, the songs in it as you can see here I'll go ahead and click a playlist there's all the songs in it you can go ahead and go back by clicking the back button obviously um, also down here we have a new store tab if you click the store tab it will take you directly to the iTunes store where you can download more songs etc but I'm gonna go back into the music app here um, along the bottom you have four more tabs you have songs which is the classic list view which I like a lot better um, artists, which is album art view again, albums, more where you have composers and genres, and that's basically all the tabs. Up here in the upper left, as you can see, the play buttons and the fast forward and rewind buttons are actually squares now instead of circles. Up here in the upper right, you can change the volume, and down here in the bottom right is a search bar that you can go ahead and click in and search for whatever song you want, um, which I like a lot. Um, now up here, as you can see, um, we actually have the all the um, song information. Um, you can actually read the name of the song as before I said. You can scroll through here and pick where you want the song to start. Um, you can also go to Genius. You can shuffle or you can repeat. If you click this little button here, you can get into the new um, music interface. As you can see here, it shows the album art. Um, and you, if you click here, um, here, let me get a song that actually has album art for you guys. Um, I'll go into New Boy's Backseat. And then you click the little album art up there, as you can see, and it goes into the album art. Um, basically, when you're in this little album art view, you can click once to see the whole screen, or you can click again to see the controls. Again, the same tabs are along the bottom. Volume and all the track info, as well as the uh, pause and repeat buttons are on the top. Um, so it's pretty much the same interface. You just get to see the actual um, album art. Again, if you lock the device and open it, it's still the same screen that you're used to. Um, you can go ahead and unlock it there. Um, another feature that I noticed that is strictly iP iPad only is if you want to skip a song, you can simply swipe to the right. It will give you, wow, wow, of all the songs to come on. Um, this is going to be funny in the video. I guess I'll leave this in here probably, but uh, of all the songs, you can basically go like this. You can skip a song like that, um, and yeah, I'll go back here to other playlists. Um, go here to Florida songs. Go pick a song. Um, it will play. If you go to the album art view, again, you can swipe to the right to skip, swipe to the right to skip again, Just go back to the left. It's, it's really simple, and it actually starts playing the next song. Uh, when you do that, which I find very cool. It's very intuitive. Unfortunately, you can't actually raise the volume by going up and down. I would think that would be awesome if you could do this from the lock screen. Um, hopefully, they add this in the future um, when the final release comes out. But for now, this is pretty cool, and I like it. Uh, the last feature that I noticed about the music app that is on... Uh, hang on, it froze here a little bit. I'll go ahead and open it up again. Switch interfaces. Uh, wow, that was weird. As you can see, iOS 5 is a little buggy here, but uh, I'll go ahead and exit out of the app and reopen it. But the last feature that I noticed that is new is if you actually go into the songs interface, you can actually see the song slide to the right. And as you can see, a little delay button comes up. You can actually delete any songs that you want off of your device to free up space directly from the device, which is very cool. And one other feature that I noticed is if you go into playlist, you can simply click the new playlist button up here. It will bring up a name. You can type whatever you want, save it, and add songs directly on the go. 
So essentially, it is iTunes on the go. It's a lot cooler. I like it. Um, I wish they would change this interface a little bit, but other than that, it's very cool. As you saw in the video, it is still a little buggy, so hopefully they fix that in the final release. But that is the new features in the music app of iOS 5 on the iPad specifically. Some of these features are included on the iPod Touch and iPhone as well. Um, but that's the iPad. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, be sure to click subscribe up there. It greatly helps me out, and uh, I really appreciate it, guys. And also, be sure to rate, thumbs up, and favorite the video down there. And for more up-to-date tech updates, definitely follow me on Twitter and visit my website, as well as like me on Facebook down there. I'm a lot more up-to-date there than I am here. And thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.